Guys, what is going up? So yeah, guys, I know you guys miss me, man, when it comes to making these YouTube videos with a free game. Um, but yeah, guys, I was just on uh, vacation with the cruise, and then uh, I had COVID too at the same time. Like right when I came back, I had COVID, man. It was a, it was terrible. It was a terrible experience. And then literally, I had a weapon litter too, because my uncle was, uh, he cut, uh, <laughs> he did a C-section on JLo. With the, not even a day's notice, bro. Not even a day's notice. He was like, hey, I'm going to cut the girl up today. And you're going to take care of the puppies. And I was a zombie, bro. I was dying from COVID. But anyways, <laughs> um, you guys, I was just not in the mood to make YouTube videos at all. But here I am. I, I'm still doing breedings. I'm still doing good. Um, Yeah, you, you guys thought I was dead or you guys thought I was just out of the game. I'm not doing dogs anymore. But I'm still doing dogs, man. I'm still doing dogs. Still doing breedings as well, you know. Um, But yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys want me to update you guys with pretty much uh, my 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 yard right now just for now um pretty much uh all these guys right here i don't know i don't know if you guys can see. let me get them out right now okay so pretty much let me update you guys pretty much um the little blue one right there my little blue one oh where'd she go okay anyways my little black one right here which is Nicki minaj this is vegeta s cardi my am bed right here so that's that's vegeta right there going in with uh with cardi so this is an uncle Chinese breeding right here and then i made this girl so this ain't no fat dogs man i told you guys there's a difference between a fat dog and a muscular dog right this is this is freaking meat this is meat bro this is meat there's a difference man <laughs> and then there's my blue girl which comes from vegeta x giselle so this is an outcross bloodline right here um but still looks good man she got a nice old reader man i love this girl right nice rear it's not a it's not a rear that butterflies out or comes out i i don't i'm not a fan of those rears it, it, it just doesn't look right it looks uh dysfunctional to me um but that's how the rear that i like it you know just some meat on the booty and that's pretty much it so and then my little black one right there is also a vegeta daughter that one's vegeta x rogue so these are put back deals for both of these are put back deals um, pretty much with uh, with my uncle, uncle Spike and my uncle Birdie, and uh, yep, that's that's the little black one right there. That girl is a freak, bro. Three months old. So both of these guys are three months old. So she is a freak. <laughs> Love that girl. And then this one right here, which is Adele. Adele. She's ten months old, you guys. Ten months old, man. She's still compact as hell. She's crazy, bro. Crazy. She's Nikki's bigger than her. <laughs> Nikki's only like five months, five or six months right now. So. Adele is four months older. She's almost as big as her, you know, maybe maybe longer, a little longer, but that's pretty much it. So this is a quick update with my yard right now. Uh, with my new additions, pretty much. Uh, just those two, those two, you guys. And I told you guys with Adele's uh, skin problems two months ago, yeah, doing a lot better. You know, you guys can see just no more um, hair falling out or her skin's all good. So yeah. So if you guys are ever dealing with red mange, Dimodex, uh, give them Brevecto, man. Brevecto works good. If you guys have any DIY solutions to to fix uh, Dimodex, let me know. Text me. Text my personal number or comment down this, uh, on the YouTube video. So, yeah, guys. I wanted to give you guys uh, just some tips in this dog game, man, from what I have learned in this game, right? Some rookie mistakes. Rookie moves, right? Rookie moves, man. And, uh, you know, just uh, just just what I've learned in this, in this dog game, just because, like, it's just uh, rookie mistakes, man. Just rookie mistakes that I, I believe that you guys should know, right? Just uh, if you guys really want the good stuff, yeah, just uh, listen in, tune in. So, yeah, guys, tip number one I can say, man, is buying puppies at a young age, right? And I don't, I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy puppies, man. I'm saying that you should buy puppies and, and know the bloodline of the dog. Know the bloodlines of the dog, right? Directly directly just because it's a babe daughter just because it's a it's a sensei son or just because it's a miyagi daughter or blah 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 all that bullshit doesn't mean it's gonna be a good dog right there's different levels of, of babe or there's different levels of whatever hype dog there is right i'm just saying bullies because you guys most of you guys are a lot into the bullies um yeah <laughs> That's pretty much it. You know, the, the, the strain matters a lot. You got to know the bloodline from, from both sides, right? I learned this from my mistakes too, because like, man, like I used to have a dog named Tank and that boy, he was a naughty mofo for real. And he was, uh, he, when he, I had him as a puppy, he was nice, compact, he looked nice. 
you know, nice old head, you know, all puppies <laughs> look good. That's all I'm going to say. But eight to 10 months later, that boy was linky, bro. That boy was a giraffe. He was a reindeer. I got rid of that. He was, he was just no good. You know, I wanted to chill. I wanted to chill. I wanted to watch movies. That dog will never chill. He will never, you know, just, just just stay with me to to watch my movie like i just want to watch movies man but this dude he's snooping around playing he's somewhere out somewhere else in the house and just doing something being naughty tearing shit up and four generations later with his bloodline you can still see that and that's why i just got rid of it it was trash right i, I was just not a fan of it right I, I hate naughty ass dogs i love my dogs to be loyal Right. I love my dogs to be to be smart and, and just just nice. They're not food aggressive at all. And people say, oh, you can you can correct it if you if you, you know, do it. If you <laughs> treat them right or fucking teach them young. I just don't want to deal with that shit in the first place. Right. I just don't. Why would you want to correct in the first place if it's not even the problem is not even there in the first place. Right. And sometimes, you know, I do get pups that are food aggressive when they're young. Hey, it happens. So you can correct that. But if it's happening all the time, all the time, all the time with the bloodline, just I just got the, rid of the dog. It was just I just I just let Tank go to a good family home. And that was pretty much it. So it's just all serious seriousness, man. I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, I just got rid of the bloodline. I was just not messing with it. Just let it go. It was no good. No BN. So just let it go. So that's my tip, man. You know, it's buying puppies at a young age. All right. So tip number two is doing put back deals, right? I told you guys, I did put back deals with these two right here. You know, first pick the litter, first overall pick, not just first pick the litter, first overall pick. And yeah, you got to trust those people, man. You know, whatever, whatever business or, or people that you're dealing with, you got to trust those people. You got to trust those people that they make sure that they will do their uh, end of the bargain correctly, right? So, looking good, baby. Looking good. God damn, son. Fucking big ass bone, son. But, yeah, you got to trust those people, man. You got to trust those people, right? I remember I did a pup back deal, man. It fucking took three years later just for me to get my pup back deal, bro. Just because, like, that bitch wasn't taken, supposedly, or uh, pups all died. I'm just like, God damn, son. So, when they had their litter, fucking six weeks later when the pup grew up, I, I just picked the pup back home. I just take the pup home, bro. I'm not saying any names, but that's that's how I did the deal. I'm just like, hey, bro, I'm going to pick up the pup early. Because I don't know if I could trust you, right? I picked the pup early, and <laughs> that was pretty much it. I took care of the pup myself, right? I had other puppies, too, so the pup didn't have to grow in, you know, grow up in isolation. But that was pretty much it. So where are my dogs at, man? Where are my dogs, Vegeta? <whistles> Look at that. Ooh. But yeah, that is pretty much it. My pup back deals. You got to trust those people, man. Sometimes people don't, you know, just they don't go do their part of the role of, of their deal and they, they mess you over or they make excuses and stuff like that. You know, just take the money, man. Just take the money. Right. I don't like to do a putback deal because just time is time is time is so important now, man. You know what I realized growing up, man, time is time is so important now. Um, but that that's what I've learned. Right. Three years later, I got my pup back, man. Later, tch, fucking three years later, I already done made, you know, a whole different bloodline already, man. I just was not tch, just like, what the fuck, man? I was just so like annoyed with it. Oh, pup, pups caught parvo. Pups are dead or or she didn't take or we didn't do the breeding. Like then maybe they did. Man, I don't know. <laughs> so I just took the pup back home. I didn't give a shit who, who the stud was. I just sold the pup, bro. You know? The dog came out to be ugly in a way. Um, but anyways, um, tip number three, guys. Tip number three is Photoshop studs. You know, Photoshop studs, right? Photoshop dogs in general, right? Um, FaceTime the person, uh, you know, ask for videos. Because usually when I see them colored dogs uh, with, with structure, I always ask for videos. And they just, honestly, in my opinion, they just don't fit my vision of what I want in a dog. Right, right. 
I told you guys, as I said in the beginning of this video, man, there's a difference between a fat dog and a muscular dog and a big ass bone dog. Let me grab that fucking meat right there. Look at that. Either I got small hands or my boy's got fucking big ass bone, bro. You can't replicate that, you know? That's why I got that bloodline from, from Yogi, you know, from the Primitive Bullies bloodline and from Bazaar and from the mom side too, you know? Just because it's Primitive Bullies from Bazaar doesn't mean it's the best too, you know? It gotta be from the mom too. I love the mom. I love that Mr. T look. Um, But yeah, so that's my tip number three, man. Photoshop studs right make sure you do you ask for videos make sure you ask you know some uh, facetime the people they don't want to do it <laughs> most likely it's a photoshop dog <laughs> it's it's most likely a photoshop dog for real it's fake <laughs> it's fake you know it's just people who fall for that are just rookies amateurs <laughs> it's okay because I, I did that too you know i put up on a stud and the stud did not look anything i'm not saying any names for real he didn't look like anything like his pictures. And he was, he was no good, man. I was just like, I, I did the Brady anyway. I was just wondering like, man, he doesn't look like anywhere near his pictures. I was like, maybe it's just an off day for him, man. Maybe he just, maybe he just, he's just ugly today. But come to find out that dog was Photoshop. And I, I didn't know that. I was a rookie, y'all. <laughs> I was a rookie, right? So ask for videos, ask for live videos. FaceTime the people, man, right? Guys, I do YouTube, man. I, I can't Photoshop my shit, man. I can't video shop my shit. <laughs> the real deal. Um, you know, they're not the best, but they're damn good enough, you know, that, that people would like it, right? So I'm still working. I'm still working. I'm, I'm trying to improve my vision on, on what I can do to, to do better, to do better within my vision, right? Everybody's got the pros and cons. Everybody's got weaknesses in their blood that they need to work on or, you know, everybody's got a different vision of a dog. So that's pretty much it with Photoshop studs, okay? Tip number four is don't buy into the hype, right? Don't buy into the hype. Like I told you guys before, just because it's a babe son doesn't mean it's, it's gonna be a good son. You know, it's gonna be a good looking son. Just because it's a, it's off from Vegeta doesn't mean it's gonna be a good Vegeta son or a Vegeta a Vegeta offspring. I do believe my boy that he can produce, but also too you will get the ugly ducklings or the ugly ones too. You know the last pick of the litters. It happens, right? It happens. If you really do want the best of the best or the first pick, expect a heavy bag from those people, right? Ask, ask. Like, hey, do you have anything last picks? Do you have anything in the first picks? Ask those people whenever you're buying, right? Just because, like, like I remember my clients too. When, when I show them my last picks, they, uh, you know, Robert and Lisa. I tell you guys, Robert. I'll, I'll, show, I'll tell you guys for real. Robert and Lisa. Robert and Lisa. When when they bought my Vegeta X Cardi litter, um, Robert was like, "Do you have any better ones?" And he knew. So I was like, "Oh, I do. I do have some better ones." And I showed them my line bread production, and he say, "That looks a lot better. I, I want that instead." And I told him, I was like, it's more expensive though. And he was like, I don't care. I want the best of the best. So done deal. He bought the stud and that was it. So Robert and Lisa, if you guys are watching this, shout out to you guys. I love that boy Tanj, man. He looks good. That's Vegeta's son right there, you guys. Looking hella good. I'm loving him. I do have a, uh, a credit with him. So may possibly throw him back to any of my females so we will see it'll be a it'd be a line bread for sure because it'd be double up or double up on vegeta's blood so it could be half brother half sister breedings most likely for sure but either than that guys don't buy into the hype you know when you buy into the hype man you ain't gonna go anywhere because the thing is like i can say if you buy into the hype you gotta catch it early you gotta catch it early whenever there's a new hype like pink fluffies or pink finchies right now buy into the hype early if you buy into the hype early you'll make the money but if you, if you jump into it later on eh, you ain't gonna make shit you know it's it, you're just not gonna make anything it's it's no good right that's why with me i like to stick strictly with structure just because like structure always stays in style the folks that say that oh there's color and structure trust me man if there was color and structure i would have bred to it already but in terms of my vision i just haven't found it yet right show me a stud show me as a stud that has a structure what i showed you guys i had the structure with the big bone and stuff like that and, and, and meat not a fat dog bro that's gonna be my meme bro like that's gonna be my logo my my my, my wording my phrase no fat dogs it's all muscle bro there's a big ass difference man so 
if there was an Isabella stud, if there is an Isabella stud, you guys, with structure like Vegeta or or like Primitive uh, Bullies, uh, um, what, what, what was his name, Mr. Primitive, or 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 Dojo, or fucking uh, Big Pun, any of those dogs that I, that I like, show it to me, please. I want to see it, right? I want to see it. That's all I'm asking for, man. If there is a stud like that out there, please show it to me. No photos, please show me some damn videos, you know? I'm getting annoyed with this, you know, when, when people text me um, some some fluffy carriers and stuff like that when it's got no structure at all, guys, you know? That's pretty much it. So, okay, so tip number five is, um, yeah, that, uh, um, that structure will always stay in style. I said that, right? Structure will always stay in style. Right, I love structure, man. Structure is always the best, man. When, when you look at a structured dog, man, it's just a whole different ball game. Because the thing is, when you breed structure, you guys, just because you breed two structured dogs together doesn't mean you're gonna have structure, man. Even when you line breed or inbreed, it just sometimes it just doesn't work out, man. It, the bleed, the breeding just has to click. The bloodline just has to click. It's Sometimes, even with the bloodline is an ember, it doesn't click. Sometimes the the breeding just has to click. It's it's weird, man. That's why structure, on the other hand, it's a whole different ball game when it comes to breeding because structure is not always guaranteed when the pups grow up. Unless you really know the dog is an ember, then then that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna sit down, you guys. Look at these two. Woo! The damn beefy monsters, man. Vegeta. Hey, Vegeta. What's up, Hanshin boy? Um, <laughs> but yeah, structure always stay in style. And that's that's why I don't I don't like to go for colors right now. I told you guys, man. Like, um, you know, if there was colors, I, I would read to it already. But see, the thing is, like, colors already has died already. Um, but if you have sh like color and structure, oh, it's a whole, it's it's a it's a different ball game for real. It it is, it is a bonus, you know. Um, Vegeta being black and try, he's not. It's not the best color in the world, you know. But it is a good color, right? It's not the rarest anymore. But uh, you know, in the next couple years, maybe four or five years, you will see them as a Bella studs with structure, and uh, I just can't wait for that. So maybe possibility I will throw to that. So right now, colors is still kind of early in, in terms of the new colors, right? In terms of the new colors like Isabella and, and uh, Fluffies and stuff, the structure right now is still kind of early. You know, there's only there's only like two studs or that I've seen that actually has good decent structure, um, that good good structure that I really like that I would actually breed to. But either than that. Most likely, I, I'm not gonna breed. I'm, you know, I'm focusing on on my own yard and my own litters. Um, you know, tightening up my blood first, and then after that, I'll be able to breed to other people's stuff. So that way, I know that whenever I breed my stuff, that I know it will guarantee to throw me some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that is pretty much it, you guys, for my free game for y'all. I think that's pretty much it. So hopefully, you guys learned a lot, man. I know it's a longer video, but. Just to keep it real with you guys, keep it raw. Love you guys, man. And uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm not dead. <laughs> Love you guys. Let's go, baby.